Hey everyone, it's Anthony with Compass Camper Concepts. I uh, just want to give a brief overview of the camper box that I build. So it's constructed out of aluminum extrusion um, with two heavy duty drawers, and a full extension that slide all the way out, providing counter space. This specific one is in my car. It's a 2016 Subaru Outback. Um, so this was this was like my prototype personal one. Uh, but it's basically the same as what I built for other people, which I'll get to in a second. Um, so yeah, standard comes with two of these um, false tops that just lift up. And they also have removable dividers in there. So these drawers are about 32 inches long. Um, if you get the, if you have a 2020 to 2022 Outback, those are 36 inches long, so a little a little bigger. And this is my um, flip over table setup. So it has a leg and it just flips over. Um, pretty nice. So you get table space. And then this also slides forward just to give you a little extra something. Yeah, so this is the trunk platform in trunk mode. As you can see, the back seats are up right here. Kind of hard to tell. And then this piece on top of the trunk platform is the bed extension with the headrest attached. Um, so this is what it looks like when the back seats are up and you're, you've got passengers and you're driving around town or whatever. Um, yeah, and it's attached on four points, one right there, one right there, and then one right there and one up there. So the four cargo attachments on your actual car, it'll hook right into those. Um, yeah, and then these are locking drawer slides, so they're locked in and out. So right now they're locked out. You can't push them in unless you push down both of these at the same time. Oops. And then and then you push it in. Not just unlocks the locking mechanism. And then it locks closed. These drawer slides can hold 150 pounds. If you get the 28 pound drawer slides, I think they hold around 180 pounds. So, you know, you can totally put a water jug on there or whatever you got. Um, yeah, so this is what it looks like in this orientation. Now I'm gonna take down the back seats and show you what it looks like in uh, bed mode. So let's do that. All right, so now we got it in bed mode. Took about 45 seconds or so. This specific one in the Subaru Outback 2016 is 78 inches long um, from the end of here, the end of the headrest, all the way to the back. Yeah, so this headrest flips out to give you a little more and you can see a bunch of storage under here. And the way it attaches in my specific one is have these two brackets that you use thumb bolts in, thumb screws, I'll show you on my next model, that just screw right into these threaded inserts on the bottom of this sheet. So pretty simple, just slides over. And then what I got here is simple carabiner and, uh, and cord that's holding up. It's, it's actually tied around the uh, supports for the front seat headrest. And then it just attaches here. And in order to make this point strong, I put uh, metal inserts in there, so it's not just pulling on the plywood, it's pulling on metal. So that hole is lined with metal. Yeah, so pretty spacious. This is about a twin size bed right here. Um, yeah, that's what this looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and show you one I just built. Well, it looks a little different. I don't use that aluminum trim up here anymore. Thought it was kind of unnecessary. It looks a little cleaner with the carpet coming over the edges. This is indoor outdoor carpet that's lined with rubber on the bottom, so it's pretty damn waterproof. Um, so yeah, you can get it dirty and rough it up. This specific one has 36 inch drawer, drawer slides. Go all the way out. Give you a nice counter surface play with and got the dividers in there yeah so 
here is my mechanism for attaching them. We got the thumb screws right here. So it's just a big bracket that goes up to a threaded insert in this piece. Um, pretty simple just to screw it in and screw it out. You can see I'm going to the middle hole right there of that bracket. So I'll show you what this is like. So when it's fully out, you can see those three holes. In order to get it in, the easiest way that I found is I kind of lift the lift the platform up a little bit, thread this through, find the hole, start screwing, get your threads going, and then you're good. And just keep on tightening it down. This thing will get pretty tight, so it'll become one big strong bed frame to sleep on. Easily sleepable for two people also. I kind of updated my headrest situation here. So I did two points per side. One, two, one, two, with these threaded inserts. Something for that knot to pull on. Then when you open it, it comes up to one. And then this carabiner actually is the one that goes around the headrest. So you can feed this piece around your headrest, around those supports, and then just clip it on here. Pretty strong. I use half inch plywood. It's pretty beefy. And yeah, so this one is for a 2020 Outback, so it's a little longer. And here's my updated uh, attachment system. So everything is on T-nuts in these T-slots. So you can pretty much bolt anything to anywhere. So these, if I want to move them or whatever, I just unscrew them a little bit, slide them around, get them right where I want them. And then I just tighten them down and they're not going anywhere. Yep, and this is the a turnbuckle. So in order to tighten this, you hook it around your uh, cargo attachment point and then you just twist this way to tighten it. And as you can see, it's getting a little shorter. So that's how you can really singe this whole thing down to the car to where you shake this thing and it shakes the whole car instead of rattling around as you drive. I wanted to build something that I could take on dirt roads. I'm always going camping in the woods. So something that I could just depend on using the aluminum, using high quality materials that I could take out and and I know it won't break, it won't rattle around. Something I can really depend on when I'm out there away from society. So yeah, I'm shipping this one out tomorrow to someone in Pennsylvania. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or would like to inquire about one of these. Um, yeah, my name is Anthony and thanks for watching. All right, one last thing I forgot to mention is how to properly install this thing in your trunk because the placement is very important, getting it centered and all the way back. Um, so when you order one of these, first thing you wanna do is pull out the drawers. It'll be in the box, so it won't be in the trunk but you wanna pull out your drawers fully. And to do that, once it's out all the way, you push both of these down at the same time and keep pulling it out like this. So you do that to both drawers, makes it a lot easier to get in. Um, and then you can see everything going on down here. This is what the frame looks like. Um, yeah makes it a lot lighter to get in and get placed. And then so once you have the trunk platform in, you wanna slide your bed extension right on top of it, right in this orientation, making sure your brackets down here are resting below, right there. So it's nice and flush, nice, everything's touching, everything's even versus down here where the bracket is hitting the other side of this. You want, every, you want it just like this, bracket below everything. So that means everything is as compact as possible. So once you put this in, and then you get this on top of it all flush, you push up your back seats, 
like this and then push the whole unit so it's nice and flush with the back of your back seat so it's pushed all the way that way and then once you got your placement and it's nice and centered then you can go ahead and hook these turnbuckles to your four cargo attachment points and then singe them down but that way when you put your bed extension on top and push everything to the back this whole unit won't be too far forward to where when you close so that your whole unit won't be too far forward to where you close your trunk and it could damage you know this or the top of your unit the handles or whatnot so just making sure it's all the way back as possible um, and the easiest way to get these um, tightened and placed is with these drawers out so then you could reach in here you know everything's open under here so you can reach in there especially for the other sides so once you get your placement you can actually lower these and then you can place your turnbuckles right there so yeah um and then once all four of your attachments are installed um you're pretty much good to go